Hi everyone. Well, uh, while you are coming, I'm gonna prepare the fondant. And today, well, today uh, I'm going to show you how to make this cute giraffe. And uh, well, uh, it is a combination of uh, two and three dimension, dimensions, as can you see. Uh, it has no volume, so uh, it's more uh, flat. And uh, well, uh, I'm gonna show you how to make it in order to uh, stick it on your on your cakes. Uh, for example, uh, in your jungle cakes, on your farm cakes, you can make uh, some animals uh, following this uh, this kind of topper that I'm going to show you today. So. Uh, we're going to start uh, with the body, so I'm gonna take a little piece of fondant. Uh, in this case, as uh, I want to stick it on my on my cake, I uh, I'm going to to use fondant. If I use, for example, modeling paste, uh, it's going to be difficult to to eat it uh, because it's uh, it harden uh, it hardens uh, quickly. So it's better if you're going to, to eat uh, this topper, uh, it's better to make it uh, just with fondant. So for the body, as you can see, it's like a cone shape, uh, but it is flat. So I'm going to take a, a, a ball and not very, not very large. So now I roll the ball and now uh, I want to make a, a cone shape, so I I put my hand on an angle and I'm going to move it back and forth. Okay, like that. And now I'm going to flatten, always using this part of my hand because it it, it is the the part with uh, with less uh, fingerprints, so it's better. Uh, to avoid uh, any marks and and so on. So uh, you can use the rolling pin if you want to flatten it. Um, easier. So now I'm going to push here and push here. You can also use a blade or a scalpel in order to cut uh, these parts uh, that you are not going to use and you don't like, like that and maybe like that. Okay. Okay, so now. Now. I'm going to make uh, the both legs that we can see on front and uh, to make the, the legs as you can see uh, they are not flat so uh, we're going to make them in three dimensions. Uh, I'm going to roll two balls more or less the same size. I always <laughs> say the same but it's important uh, to get a symmetrical um, symmetrical topper to use um, uh, the same amount uh, for both uh, legs, for both uh, ears, for both arms. So now I'm going to make, okay, I'm going to make uh, two comb shapes. So I place my head, my hand like that and I'm going to roll it back and forth. It is too small, so I'm going to add more. And I'm going to repeat the same. Okay, another ball for the other leg. Okay, that's it. Okay, so now I move it back and forth. And now 
I need to flatten uh, this part, so I'm going to make short turns on the table to get it flat. Okay, so one leg is ready. I'm going to make the another one. And I repeat the same process. I flatten it on the table with short turns. And now I check the size to get the same um, the same size. <laughs> and well, it is too big, so I'm going to cut. Okay, I'm going to cut a little piece here on the upper part because we don't need uh, all the all the legs. Uh, we're going to put the head um, over. So uh, we don't need this part, so I cut it, okay, like that. You can use one drop of water to stick it to the body, okay, like that. And you can flatten also this part, always with soft touches. And now I'm going to make... Um, this part of the legs so I need uh, to roll uh, four balls always the same size as I tell you or at least uh, at least try to make them uh, the same size and now very easy to make them Take just one, roll it, put on the table, and with your finger, you flatten it. Okay, so we have one, and now we repeat the same process with the other one. So we can stick uh, both of them on the sides okay and we need two more for the legs so it's very easy to make a topper like this one uh, because you can adapt it to any to any animal and uh, for any kind of uh, of cakes, for example, a uh, a farm cake uh, with a cow, a pig, or uh, even for your for your jungle uh, cakes. And instead of uh, a giraffe, you can make a, a zebra, a tiger, lion. So whatever you want to make, and it's easier because it is uh, it's not model all the all the topper is just to make it flat, as you can see. Okay, it's a combination of uh, two dimensions and three dimensions. So now we have ready these pieces. Um, I'm going to stick them. Okay, like that. And now I'm going to make the head. For the head, uh, we need uh, a ball uh, bigger than, than, than the one used for the body. Because the head, as you can see, uh, it, uh, it has volume. So I'm going to take a ball and roll it. As you can see, okay here as you can see the head um is a lengthened um a lengthened shape so to make a lengthened shape use your hand to roll it like that and now okay it's too small so i'm going to add a little more fondant Remember, I'm using fondant because uh, it is to uh, stick it on a cake and maybe it's going to be eaten. So uh, if you don't want, um, if you don't want to, to, eat, to eat it, so you don't need to, to use fondant. You can use modeling paste. So, 
Okay, so now I have the ball and to lengthen it, I'm going to use my hand to roll it like that. And now the shape has changed. So now I'm going to push, not so hard, because we don't need a flat uh, piece. Okay, a little more. Okay, more or less, it, it has the same size and we can stick it here but uh, not right now because we need to to work and to work properly and, and more comfortable it's better to um to move it and not to stick it uh, already so now i'm going to make uh, the nose for the nose i always try not to use any cutter as you can do it at home within without problems so I roll a ball and now as you can see it's, a, uh, it's like a peel so I roll a peel and once again I'm going to flatten it and you can even use a rolling pin to make it flatten, flat sorry. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to check. Okay, so I like the size, so I'm going to stick it. Let me know if, if you have any question or maybe I'm using a wrong word and you are not understand me. Um, so, okay. You can make, uh, you can uh, give uh, soft touches on the edge to stick it better and to make thinner the edge. So now, as you can see on the on the nose, uh, we have the nostrils. So to make the nostrils, I'm going to use a, a small ball tool and yes, a little indentation. Don't press so hard. Okay, like that. And now, one more, uh, two more for the eyes on the yellow part and they are uh, more in the middle so one here and one here okay so if you want for example you can uh, draw the the mouth with a, a marker with a brush or even using a tool uh, you can uh, mark uh, pressing the fondant but in my case, I don't want to, to make it. So uh, now I'm going to fill the eyes. And to fill the eyes, uh, as I always tell you, you can use uh, sugar pearls, uh, the size that you prefer. But uh, in this case, I'm going to show you how to make it with uh, just with fondant. So I'm going to roll two, two, piece, uh, two <laughs> tiny balls. And not too big, remember, because they have to uh, to to fit to fit. Okay, so now, yes, a drop of water. One here and one here. Okay, you can see the eyes are not very big. Okay. If you make uh, them so big, uh, they then they looks a little bit weird. So it's better to to avoid this kind of uh, of eyes. So now um, I'm going to cut. I don't know if you can see here the giraffe it has two uh, tiny point, uh, two tiny dots. Um, Two tiny dots uh, for the sign. So I'm going to stretch fondant, white fondant, very, very, very thin. So the thinner the better, uh, because the result is going to be is going to be better. 
So now to cut uh, those uh, those white dots, I'm going to use a piping nacer. You can use uh, whatever size that you prefer. I always say that uh, the better size is that that um, fits with the with the size of your of your uh, your of your eyes. Uh, in this case. They are very small, so I don't I don't need to use a a biggest uh, piping uh, piping nacelle. So I'm going to use the 1.5 from uh, PME. I don't know if you can see it. Okay, it's very very small, and I'm going to cut one dot, and I need a skewer to take it out. Okay. And one here. So now I'm going to put just a drop of water and try to stick them always on the same direction. What I mean is both, uh, both on the left or both on the right. Okay, let me one minute and now I show you because I need to work here, very focused. Okay, one here and one here. So, as you can see, I don't know if you can see properly. Okay, there. They are sticked on uh, just on one side, both on the, on the, on the right. Okay, so now I need to add uh, the horns and the ears. To make the horns, it's very, very easy. And first of all, I'm going to make uh, with a skewer. I'm going to take a skewer and with the fine, the fine tip, I'm going to make one tunnel and another one. You don't need you don't need to press so hard and uh, don't insert the skewer uh, very deep on the head, just uh, the tip to insert now the the horns and avoid them from from falling. So to make the horns, uh, I'm going to roll two two tiny balls. I would like to remain uh, to remind you that. Um, Tomorrow, no. Uh, the day, the day after tomorrow, I will be here again at the same time, uh, and I will make. Uh, I will show you how to make this cute uh, rabbit, uh, just in fondant, in case you want to to know how to make it. So be ready and uh, and prepare your tools to to make it. Hi, for those who who are coming right now. Okay, so now. Uh, I'm going to repeat what I'm doing. I'm making the horns. So now, okay, yes, a teardrop as you can see. And now I'm going to repeat the same with the other one. Always trying to make them the same size. Okay, this is smaller, so I'm going to add a little bit more. And I'm going to repeat it. Okay, so now, just look what I'm doing uh, because it is important in order to avoid to, uh, to add water in the outside part, we need to insert the, the brass on the hole, just like that. And now I'm going to insert the Mm. the horns okay like that and now and now I I'm going to make the ears so to make the ears just another two balls yellow balls of course the same size is it is if it is possible and not too big Okay, so now mm, 
I repeat the same process. It's always making uh, maybe not maybe, but uh, always I use the same uh, the same forms, basic forms, because it's easier uh, to start modeling. So I'm going to roll, roll it back and forth to get a a, a teardrop, as you can see. And now I'm going to repeat the same process with the other one. And now, as I told you, uh, these are the ears and you can use, for example, uh, the Dresden tool to make the cavities, uh, the indentations inside the ears. But in this case, instead of the Dresden tool, I'm going to use this other uh, tool and I'm going to press not so hard remember always not so hard and now i add uh, just some drops of water and a stick it okay okay so now we need to add the spots to the body. Okay, I'm going to stick the, the body and the head. Yes, some water there. And now I stick the head. And now uh, I'm going to make the spots. To make the spots, uh, you can use, for example, a cutter and uh, make a uh, different size. Uh, um, of the same shape, uh, for example, different circles or uh, whatever you prefer. But in this case, I'm going to show you how to make it uh, very easy and uh, and it's not need uh, uh, to use any cutter. So uh, with soft fondant, it's important uh, to be soft. Um, I'm going to make uh, uh, to roll uh, different uh, balls of different size. One bigger, one bigger, and uh, one smaller. So now, for example, I'm going to start just on the head. I'm going to put some water and stick the. Um, and stick the, the ball. So now with this part of the Dresden tool, with the widest part, I'm going to stretch it in order to get irregular shapes. And maybe they uh, look more natural than uh, cutting circles, for example. So now I'm going to add here another one. And in this case, very tiny. So, and with this part again, with the widest part, I stretch it. Uh, um, while I'm making this, I would like to remind you again, for those who are coming now, that uh, the next week I will be making a, a free modeling masterclass. It's totally free, no payment data required or um, or credit card. It's totally free. You just uh, you just need to <laughs> to sign up, and uh, I'm going to show you how to make this cute bunny and uh, you can sign up on my profile um, on Instagram and, in f and on Facebook it's totally free as I told you and I'm going to show you uh, how to make it and uh, I even I will I, I, I will share with you templates uh, templates to make it uh, easier so uh, remind uh, to to sign up and and be there
it's totally free if you have any question because if you don't uh, you don't uh, find uh, the link to sign up to the free uh, modeling masterclass uh, don't doubt and write me a comment uh, uh, just in if you are in Facebook write me a comment here on this video or if you are on Instagram, um, just write me a, a direct, a direct uh, message and I will answer you with the link to sign up so you can, uh, so you can uh, follow the class. Um, <clears throat> uh, yes, tell me, uh, Ellie's Cakes, uh, you have a question, uh, let me know if I can help you. Sorry if I have uh, I haven't pronounced uh, properly your name. Okay, so now I'm going to stick it and stretch fondant with uh, the widest part, and uh, don't forget to stick some spots on the body because it's uh, quite important. <coughs> If not, uh, the giraffe looks a little bit uh, weird. So, if you can, okay. <laughs> so tell me if I can solve you uh, solve your doubt. I will try to 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 make it. Okay, so. Like that. Okay, and now um, we need just to add the tail. You can add uh, more um, more spots if you like. Uh, some matter of preference. And I'm going to add the tail and I'm going to show you how to insert the skewer uh, in order to, uh, to put it uh, just um, on top of the cake. So, First of all, I'm going to uh, show you. I'm going to show you how to make the tail. So we need to um, to make a sausage. Okay, like that. The size is up to you. Okay, and another ball brown for the fur and I'm going to roll a teardrop whoops it's alive and I'm going to use a little piece of water yes to uh, to stick it to the body okay like that for example and now here again and you can use the uh, the f the finest part of the design tool to give some texture to the tail, like that. There are many ways to make uh, to make the tail, so uh, you can choose uh, uh, um, the one you you like the most. So now. Uh, our uh, our giraffe is uh, is finished so i'm going to show you how to how to insert for example a skewer if in case you want to use this topper to put it uh, on top of of your cake but uh, remember that you can uh, stick it just on the side of your fondant cake and uh, avoid to for example uh, modeling uh, modeling a lot of toppers uh, if you don't have time or or room in your cake so uh, so now to insert the skewer as you can see here, it is not inserted on the body, uh, but it is uh, on the middle uh, between the um, between the body and uh, the two legs. So, very carefully, I'm going to insert it, always on a rotary motion. If you can do it, 
that way it's going to be better and you have to push until you reach the head and on the head you don't need to insert it uh, to the bot to the to the top just a little piece okay like that and now for example if you want to to take it you can use a spatula to take it from the table and as you can see you have uh, ready your <laughs> your giraffe topper okay so hope you like it and uh, well if you have any question you can you can tell me now and remember that i will be here on um tomorrow it is a uh, um wednesday so um on Thursday, I will be here at the same time at five Spanish time. I will I will write the hour so you can remind it, uh, and I will be making this cute bunny topper, and uh, so you can you can come <laughs> and learn with me or, or even make it, uh, and remember that you can find uh, for example how to make uh, this bunny or this giraffe on uh, my website kcraftschool.net uh, and um, uh, remember uh, that you can uh, you have uh, um, you have still time to sign up and uh, be part of this uh, free modeling masterclass uh, class and if you don't have the link um, doesn't matter write me uh, write me a comment or a, a dm and i will try to to answer you and give you the 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 link in order to uh, to get access to the class so I uh, hope you like it and I hope you um I I will wait for you on on Thursday and uh, okay <laughs> so have a good day and bye